Fat Shark walks now, and now DJI want you to practically burn your money, not only to buy new goggles, but to replace every VTX in your entire fleet. Bardwell on the FPV News detailed that in a conversation with Greg from Fat Shark and Drew from Rotor Riot, that it's technically plausible for Cadex Vistas and DJI Air units to run the Walksnell FPV system firmware. However, it was commercially not possible for them to do this. Bardwell has also announced that a DJI employee confirmed that the new generation of the DJI FPV system will not be compatible with existing Vistas and Air units on the market. If you're like me and you have several quads that currently run DJI, this can be an expensive exercise. Not only are DJI Walksnell and Fat Shark asking you for $600 for new goggles, but in my case with five drones, an extra $800 for the VTX. This leads us to the cost of actually switching to a new system. In economics, there's this theory called opportunity cost, being that when you spend $1 on something, there's the opportunity that you could have spent it somewhere else. Thus, effectively costing you $2. Converting a fleet of five quads to walk snail or fat shark will cost, well, for new fat shark goggles, $600. Five new walk snail VTXs, $800. The cost of fat shark and walk snail is 1400 bucks. On an opportunity cost front, well, I spent $569 on my existing DJI FPV goggles and 825 on five existing Nebula Pro Vista kits. Total opportunity cost, $1,425. So the total money spent, 2825 Sure, it may not be this much because you'd hope that you could recover some of the opportunity cost by selling your Vistas and DJI goggles, but given the new systems have zero support for the existing ones in the market, pricing is going to be likely at fire sale levels. Without knowing the cost of the next generation DJI system, a fair assumption to say that you'll be up for the same amount of Fat Shark or Walk Snail, if not even more. What we know about walk style is the video transmission is 1080p and the goggle resolution is also 1080p and DJI would at least be the same. On the left there is a 720p image and on the right 1080p, both at 46 degrees field of view. To my eyes in this representation there appears to be a marginal gain of image quality and I'm starting to think that it's not going to be worth the cost of an upgrade. Since the launch of the DJI FPV system around two and a half years ago there is still a large portion portion of the FPV total addressable market who are still on analog and will continue to fly it until they can't buy analog anymore. This is going to be the same with those already on DJI. They will fly it and hold out upgrading for at least three more years, even though there will be some early adopters. If we look at the market for FPV systems, we have analog, DJI FPV V1, Next Generation DJI, HD0, Fat Shark Walk Snail, and Orca. To think that the FPV market is big enough for all of these platforms to coexist is naive. HD0 will probably start up the racing and micro market, and we don't even know what Orca will do or bring to the table, as well as how that's going to be received. You then have three different platforms, all competing for the remaining large percentage of the market, which still isn't big enough for three systems to survive, without sending either the companies broke because there's no margin or charging customers a fortune for their systems. Where is this master plan that Fat Shark and Walk Snail could actually win the market? We come back to Drew and Greg's comments earlier that it's technically plausible but commercially not to provide firmware to convert Vistas and Air units. I believe that Fat Shark should release firmware for the Vista and Air unit and charge a nominal $15 fee for a VTX for a single use activation code to access the Walksnail firmware. How this would work would be similar to how activation keys work for software. Then all of a sudden your total addressable market for new goggle sales includes both analog pilots and existing DJI pilots. What you also achieve by doing this is pretty much limit the opportunity for pilots to consider the next generation DJI system, which is said not to be backwards compatible. However, the one caveat to all of this is it's basically a game of liars poker. Fat Shark and Walksnail have placed their bets before all the cards were dealt and DJI and Orca are still to move. You may think waiting until DJI's cards are on the table is the right thing before announcing a firmware conversion program, but if we take it at face value that Walksnail is not DJI, but they've been able to recreate the entire solution from zero, 
You'd also say that DJI is probably able to release a firmware update to the V3 system to bring backwards compatibility, thus raise their bet against Fatshark. Let me know in the comments below if you think it would be beneficial for Fatshark and Walksnow to convert existing Vistas and Air units to their platform, and if you would actually pay for this. Granted, if we could get it for free, that would be amazing, but we know it's commercially not on the cards for them to do so. Do you also think that perhaps I'm just absolutely crazy or I'm onto something? Let me know in the comments below. I'm Darren from Everything Micro FPV. Until next time, don't forget to send it.